Hey, y'all. Good morning. This is Angela here uh, for Failing Successfully. Look, you know what? It was so funny because a friend of mine was like, Angela, I love the fact that you said failing successfully because when you fail in life, if you learn from it, you have successfully failed. So this morning when I was getting dressed, you know, um, because I'm like seven, I got up around 645. I said, Larry, I think I'm going to try to run to Home Depot to see if there's any... um, Lysol or something and normally he's like no I get it but I'm like no babe you sleep in so I'm out here now this beautiful brisk September morning uh, trying to get to Home Depot and got my fingers toes eyes nose everything crossed praying in the name of Jesus <laughs> that I can find something but disinfect this spray but when I was getting dressed this morning of course you know I'm looking in the mirror at myself and I'm like oh boy well these love handles are still here but I love what I see. Now, do I look like a supermodel? No. Do I need and want to lose 20 pounds? Yeah. But I'm finally in a point in my life, and women, you can attest to this. You know you have grown and you have done the work on yourself. Well, you can truthfully look in the mirror at yourself and say, you know what? I may not be at my goal, whatever that is, but I'm not where I used to be, and I love what I see. That's failing successfully. Too long. I spent so many years, and young ladies, young girls, in your teens, 20s, catch this. I spent too many years not loving myself. Even when I was at my heaviest weight, at 318 pounds loving myself didn't mean accepting my obesity and not working on it loving myself would have meant look Angela your weight although you working need to work on it does not make you any less in the eyes of God it doesn't make you any less where you deserve to be treated any kind of way or put down And for too long, I failed in that area of not truly loving myself the way I should. I want you young women, if I could give you any piece of advice. I wasted too many years not loving myself. And I wasted too many years not working on myself. When I say working on myself, I mean my physical body. I wish I would have been more active. I wish I would have been more on a consistent basis, physically active, where exercise was a part of my daily routine. And when I say exercise, I don't mean where I was out there, you know, running a 5K every day, but at least three to five days a week doing some form of cardio for at least 25 to 35 minutes. I never did that as a young person. I did not play school sports, unfortunately. And I probably would have been extremely good with it because I'm 5'10", I'm tall, and I probably would have been, you know, really good. But hindsight is twenty twenty. But that's why I'm here now to let you all know. I look in the mirror at myself now. Am I disappointed that I have picked up some weight, especially the COVID-19? I am. But I notice that I'm eating better now. I used to skip meals. I used to... Like, and it wasn't skipping meals to do intermittent fasting because I really, I really think that's a great thing. I would skip meals because I really believe I was developing a very healthy, unhealthy, unhealthy eating disorder. But women, if you can look in the mirror at yourself and say, I love who I am, I'm going to work on who I am, but I love who I am, then you fail successfully. I'm telling you, I don't like the narrative where for you to love yourself that means you 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 have to stay where you are and who you look like how you look okay that's not true well I'm gonna tell you why when I was contemplating getting weight loss surgery back in 2006 I went to a psychiatrist a psychologist in 2005 just to talk over my issues pertaining to the relationship I was in at the time this was before Larry and also I want to talk about how I just hated how I looked I felt like I had I had succeeded in so many other areas. I was able to succeed in education and succeed 
in, 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 in career wise, in, in a way, you know, I mean, of course I still wasn't where I wanted to be, but it seemed like the one area where I was just totally out of control was my weight. So I went to this psychologist, I sat there and I told this woman how I wanted to lose weight. She told me, well, you know what? I have a daughter who's around your size and I tell her, and I'm going to tell you just what I tell her. You need, you have to love yourself and you are beautiful the way you are and you don't need to change not one bit. And I'm looking at her like the devil is a liar. And I say, wait a minute. So I'm coming to you and you're telling me I don't need to work on the very thing that is bothering me the most. I'm li- and I thought to myself, if I was an alcoholic or on crack, would she sit there and tell me, you don't need to work on that at all. You don't need to work on your weakness. And so I say, this is the last time I will ever sit with this lady because it's, to love yourself doesn't mean you have to sit and squaddle. That's not a word. I'm making up stuff. Doesn't mean you have to sit in what makes you unhappy. You understand what I'm saying? So I was like, I'll never see this lady again. So I said all that to say this. And I could have sat there and listened to her. I could have sat there and believed the narrative that that's right. I love who I am. I love wearing a size 28. And I love being 318 pounds. And I love that I didn't love it. And I was not going to be, I wasn't, I couldn't convince myself to love it. So I was like, I got to do what I got to do. I don't care if I just lost 40 pounds. I'd had to lose something. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is now today, when I woke up and I got dressed, and I looked in the mirror at myself, I, had on, I put on my bra and panties, and I said, you know what? These love handles, I wish they were gone. And I know what to do to get rid of them. I do. But I love what I see. I still feel beautiful. I feel pretty. I feel sexy. I feel desirable. And that's failing successfully because one, I realized I have to do the work to get to the goal that I want. And two, I realized that, um, yo, can you all hear this music? This guy is on a motorcycle. And he just drove past me. And he's crazy loud. He's jamming on a motorcycle. Because I was listening. I thought, wait a minute. Is it is it coming through my car? How is that possible? But the point is this, y'all. Just know, just ladies, especially this is for my young women. Do the work so that one day you can look in your mirror and say to yourself, I love who I am. I may not be where I want to be, but I'm not where I started. And I'm failing successfully. Y'all be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.